Ayo. Chicks are here. I've noticed some people have troubles with the Valenti stage and I will show you guys a team to auto but I will also show you guys a team to clear it pretty fast and um, also pretty safe if you have the units. So guys, those are going to be the teams on both sides and Liz is here to rush the ult super easy and if you guys don't know, Valenti takes more damage based on Sever cards and both of those units have a Sever ult so they will easily clear um, the boss without any issue. So coming to the gear, the gear of him, I do have your gear but it's not mandatory. If you are paranoid, you can also use food we are not using food um this is my sardia gear and yeah this can be any gear so this is the gear on the other account and this is sardia's gear and also um in phase one if you use a debuff valenti gets tankier so don't use any cards of arthur and also don't use the buff yet at least if you use a buff you will get sealed and you don't want that at the beginning so like I mentioned earlier, what we're going to do is we use Liz to get the ult or to help to rush ults. So no matter what, get Liz ult. And here we can just dump one more card. And yeah, in phase two, make sure to get both of the Arthur ults. And uh, you can also dump a Sari card to get one more ult gauge so that you don't have to work on the ults anymore or whatever. Because yeah, um... First turn is basically just to stall, then we stall again, but we have the heal, so it doesn't matter how much damage she deals, especially we are elemental advantage besides of Liz, but Liz is on HP defense, so she should be decently tanky, and I'm pretty sure every one of you guys have a Liz gear as well, right? So, um, we just do this now, we do this now, and here we check, everyone has one ult gauge, that's more than enough. But we can still dump cards. You have to also make sure to get two cards, right? Else you won't get, um, at least on this side. No, we would get Arthur ult no matter what. But yeah, so we can just dump cards we don't need. But never dump um, the debuff cards. Because if you dump debuff cards, Valenti gets stronger or gets tankier, like I already mentioned. And um, you don't want that. But yeah, so... In turn 3, we are just going to dump the Arthur ults and then we are good to go. So yeah, it's basically a 4 turn without any RNG. And also, look at this, we dealt actually a decent amount of damage already. Um, 2 star buff, not too shabby. So it doesn't even matter if you have a 2 star buff or not, because it's not that mandatory. And also, um, actually, yeah, getting the ult right away is pretty good, because just imagine she would have sealed one of the others. That would have been pretty shit for us. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we do this, we do this, and now we can dump any cards. I will merge here, and we can dump cards here too. So here, as you can see, um, it's going to be in super easy clear. And um, the second one will finish off everything, and we are good to go and move to transition. And Sadiel will have even a buff now, because now we don't need the Arthur buffs anymore, like I mentioned earlier. So, like I mentioned earlier, um, if you use a buff, you will get sealed, at least ult sealed, so it doesn't matter. Let's say we wouldn't have those two star buff, we can just do this, right? Right now we do have it, we do this, this, and we're good to go. So, of course, it depends on your Sardi and stuff, so if your Sardi is a bit weaker, like let's say uh, lower ult level and stuff, you might have to use attack food. Right now we are not using any food, but uh, we still should deal a decent amount of damage. Look at this. So this one is the 6-6 one, so of course it hits super, super hard. And this one is 3-6 and still hits 700k. So yeah, super easy. And now coming to the auto team. So this is going to be the teams we are going to use for auto. And yeah, let's go through the gear really quick. Um. If you have T1, you can also use T1 instead. So T1 is definitely a better unit, but I wanted to try to have it a bit more free-to-play friendly. 
or whatever because not everyone has t1 i think so but yeah um i think most of you guys will have t1 and it's gonna be easier to auto then here they don't really need any gear at all and yeah we're going to use attack food because with attack food it's going to be a bit faster so why not right so we are just pressing on auto on both sides so like i said unfortunately uh debuffs will be used so she will get a bit tankier in the first phase but it doesn't matter that much so the good thing about zeldris is he is buffing the stats so that's pretty helpful and also he can dissolve so depending on what cards and stuff it it is definitely helpful uh, not to get ulted um but yeah so we have to move to transition though hopefully depending on your luck and stuff it might burn ults so in in the next turn i think she will seal the ult so we are still good to go of course but if we have if we don't deal enough damage they don't move to transition with ults or they waste the ults and it's gonna be a bit annoying a run can fail or it can also take super long but yeah so for now we are looking okay i think so let's see um we are about to get both sadil ults so hopefully we are getting sealed soon um okay we are getting one seal is this it there's i i don't even know she can also AO, a a aoe seal but yeah i don't know so we're getting the ults now i think already um yeah we're getting some ults already uh but we this might kill already oh yeah yeah we will definitely move to transition now the cards we have right now it's perfect it's it's wonderful this is this is a wonderful um example run but like i said um sometimes sometimes it's not that smooth so um if you are super unlucky you will get sealed or stuff and then the ai changes you can't use the ult or you burn the ults in phase one but this one is perfect so here both of the sadio ults were used um or we are saved up until the phase two or we didn't even get that and now we easily one shot and yeah uh like i said if you have t1 better use t1 because uh t1 is a bit better in this team and yeah uh that is how you clear the disaster battle valenti one time super easy and also how you can actually auto so that's it guys that's it for the video i hope it was helpful or you enjoyed this and if you did comment like and subscribe thanks for tuning in and peace out for now.